Hello, I'm Stephen Cooley and welcome to the Stephen Cooley Real Estate Show. As always, it's a great pleasure to have Julie Storm back on my show again. Julie, thanks for joining me today. Love being here. Always talk about some great stuff and learned a lot about real estate over the years from being home. We've talked a lot about real estate over the last 14 years on the show. Today, I wanted to talk about curb appeal and how important it is to the value of your home. And I say just to the value of your home, Julie, because if your home's for sale, it's very important but even just the consistent value of your home and the enjoyment of your home, curb appeal is the is crucial. Right, and it's a first impression for a, for a potential buyer. Absolutely, and buyers will ride by a home multiple times. They'll take pictures of the outside of the house. Uh, buyers will cancel a showing just from pulling up to a home. Uh -huh. So it's very, very important to take that curb appeal as high as possible, and all homes have good curb appeal if they do the right things to the home, especially right. it's based on the, the, the design of the front of the house too. Well, Stephen, cool. are there some simple things that you can do to kind of... Absolutely. The number one thing is go outside and with your phone or your camera, take four or five pictures, angles of the front of your house, uh -huh. and then go inside and put them up on the TV screen or computer screen as we all can do today, and just sit and take a look at them because we ride past our homes. Right. Some people with a garage closest to the entrance to the home don't even ride past their house anymore. Uh -huh. And so, um, and take a really good look at it and get a good perspective on it. Have, have friends over and just pull it up and say, hey guys, look at these pictures and, and let's talk about what may make the home look better. So, some, some tips to make curb appeal better and that are inexpensive. The number one problem is as a home ages, the bushes, the trees grow and you block the view of the house. Mm -hmm. You can go into neighborhoods now and the trees are bigger than the home. Magnolia trees, they get as big as the house right. and they block the entire home. A lot of shrubberies look like trees now Absolutely. too. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Shrubbery gets too big. Mm -hmm. Shrubbery probably needs to be replaced every 10 or 15 right. years, but it needs to stay below windows. Mm -hmm. It does not need to block any corners of the home mm -hmm. and really any view. A tree should be small enough when you plant it that when it's fully mature, mm -hmm. like going from a puppy to a big right. dog, you got to plan for when it's really big. What will it block mm -hmm. 10 years from now when you try to sell the home? It is crucial. Most homes have too many shrubs. Gotcha. Um, trimming back the shrubs, removing the shrubs. Mm -hmm. Go back and look at the home when it was built brand new. If you have a picture, probably the best it ever looked. Yep. So shrubs, shrubs to a minimal, um, plant flowers, blooming flowers, just like when you hand a bouquet of flowers to someone, blooming flowers around the mailbox, around the entrance, at the front door, very inexpensive. You can do it yourself or you can go, go ahead and buy pots already blooming, uh -huh. big. The second biggest problem is after all the pollen and dust and dry weather, homes are dirty. Yes. They need to be washed just like you wash your car. You can rent a power washer, wash your home, wash the sides of the house, the gutters, the eaves, wash any stains on the side of the home, wash the driveways, wash the walkways, all the way out to the street, and you'll be shocked at how much better your house looks than your neighbors. Yeah, we've done that before, right. and it's amazing. And you, or you can just hire someone professionally to come out and do uh -huh. it for a few hundred dollars, no big, no big deal, whatever. Look, uh, for some reason, shutters and doors fade quicker than the rest of the house, mm -hmm. especially if you got a brick home or a hardy plank siding house that really doesn't mm -hmm. hold the paint very well. So look at the shutters in the front door. They probably need to be painted if the home is three to five years old. Mm -hmm. They're a different color today than they were when the house was built, so it's huge. Also look at the overall paint on the house. If there's flaking paint, exposed wood, some loans that lenders will not even lend on the home. Uh -huh. So no flaking paint anywhere on the home. Okay. Um, if you've got flaking paint, it's time to paint. Usually you got to paint eaves about two times over the siding of the house. Uh -huh. So you got to look at that. Replace the mailbox. Mailbox <laughs> rust, they get old, uh -huh. they get dented, they wear out. A new fresh mailbox on the front of the house will make a huge difference. Uh -huh. um, some really quick inexpensive tips all under $100 to really make your home look better. Replace the hardware on the front door. 
That gets old, that gets ding, it changes color. It can make a whole front door look brand new. Right. Um, replace the doorbell. For some reason, whatever doorbells are made out of, they crack uh -huh. in two or three years. And I walk up to most homes and the doorbell is cracked. The little button you hit is cracked or worn off and it just looks bad. And you can right. probably replace it for under 20 bucks. Um, if, if there's any type of shrubbery you're planting, make sure that it's up near the house. They stay green all year. Because mm -hmm. there's some, you know, I love azaleas, but they have about two weeks of beauty, right. and then they're not, they're not really that pretty the rest of the year. So things up against the house, make them evergreens. Replace the front door mat. Yes. That's the, just a I've, biggie. I've seen some. And you want people to wipe their feet when they come right. in anyway. Uh -huh. But uh -huh. doormats get old and they get uh, faded. Again, last tip, Blooming flowers, there are flowers that will bloom. If it's middle of winter, there are types of flowers you can plant to bloom. That is huge to make the curb appeal better. Those sound very nice. Again, it is the first impression, and I, you know, I, I live in a neighborhood where it's uh, the neighbors try to make outdo each other with their uh, curb appeal. So oh, it's well, good, important. good, yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. um, a couple of things just to mention real quickly. Um, we, we have the camp. If we can't sell it, we'll buy your home program. Yes. A lot of interest in that. People are uh -huh. loving it. We started that in 2015. Also in 2015, we bought a moving truck. Mm -hmm. You can use our moving truck for free. If you're buying home or you're a past client of ours, um, we've got the office concierge service. If you need to make copies, if you need free Wi-Fi, we've got all that available. So I hope people won't forget about that. Well, customer service is everything, and it sounds like you provide it all. Thank you, Julie. And thanks for watching today's show. We've got beautiful homes for sale in your area. We'll be right back. I hope you've enjoyed watching the Stephen Cooley Real Estate Show. If you're interested in advertising your business on the program, please give us a call at 803-326-2777 or send us an email at ask at makeitlocal.com. Join us next week for more discussions on real estate topics and help in finding your perfect home. Thanks for watching.